Now let's think about how can we make our information looks better when we print. Keep in mind that our object is to make the data look easier to read and easier to understand. In this video, we will talk about the specific section here in the font area in the home ribbon and we'll be covering the options available here. So now that we have the set of data here, it is not that clear that the list of fields names or column names. So let's see if we can make it look very clear and obvious that is the name of the columns not the data itself. In order to do that and I'm going to make it look bold by clicking those B icon here and just clicking on it and as you can see here it is changing the font they are changing the text to be bold and even I can do the same in cell B2 as well. I'm just selecting cell B2 and click on B. See it's become bold right even I'm selecting the price cell as well and click on bold. So now it's clearly stand out that these three headings which I highlight in the bold has been clearly visible than the rest of the cells, right? So that is tell us that's the main heading of this particular database, right? We can also select multiple cells. At present, I have selected all these rows and I go and apply the bold, right? And just click on undo and back to the normal. In case if I want to select at a time the single rows like this, select and go here and click on bold. See, at a time it's completely has become bold for respective cells headings, right? And also if you want to select the particular cells to be bold, that case you can use the control key button and just select respective cell where you want to make the bold. See, these cells are selected for example and click on bold. See, those cells has been become bold, right? Just make it undo. So basically it's a toggle. And in case if you want to make it unbold, select again and click on this bold again see it's become unbold and if you want to make it italic mode just click on this eye icon see right and make it bold again and if you want to make it underline of this so just click on this U. that means underline so by default it shows single underline just click on it see you can see the single underline if you want to make the two underline I mean double underline just click on the drop down option in the next to you you can see double underline option just click on it see it's become double underline right if you want to remove those changes just click on the respective options for example I just want to remove this underline click on it remove it and just want to remove that italic mode just click on it that also remove it and and I just want to make it unbolded just click on it see it's become unbolded right and these are the common options available the word processing applications such as Microsoft Word you might be seeing that these are just how things appear when you look at it or when you print this Excel spreadsheet. How do you want to this appear? These are the personal preference. So you can play with that, okay? A general recommendation that I can give is don't do too much of such formatting because the goal is again to just make the data easy to read and easy to understand. For example, this is the main heading of this particular database, right? My Adar bookstore. I'm just selecting this. So I'm just making it bold and trying to increase the size of this. You can use this options. Also, you can use this alphabet, right? It's a little bigger. Just click on this. See, it's keep on increasing. And also you can see numbers also changing here. If you want to make it normal, just opposite that. There's one more small letter is there. Just click on this. See, it's keep reducing. So I make it 16 number over here, the size of this heading. And after next to that main heading, I make it as so normal says that is 14 only and make it bold and italics see now it's become little neat right while taking the print door the people can easily read it hope you clear this topic let's move to next topic